I want to add more realism to our model, to our viewpoint. And let's open first from our materials second folder the office NWF file. NWF. Open it. And here's the file. And now in save viewpoints, we have no one, no one. And we can export it and input it. And let's input viewpoints. Input XML file from this folder. Material second. Now we have new one viewpoint. And let's try it to add our realism in our viewpoint. Okay. And let's start. Viewpoint realism mode. Let's activate it like third person. And now you can see a guy. And he can move if we took this one mode. Walk and walk. Okay. And now let's try to move. And now he's flying, not moving, because we need to activate the gravity and collision in one click. And now I'm pressing the left button and he's moving. But maybe, maybe a guy is in another position. Maybe he has that, such kind of like this one. Communication wheel and maybe it's red now. And you can change it. You can only activate this communication wheel, then up and down, press left button and up it. OK. And now it's OK. And we can continue. Now I'm pressing and I'm moving with this guy. OK. And let's go close to the, close to the table. And then first, let's save viewpoint. Save. Save viewpoint. The first one. OK. And let's activate one new mode. Crouch. And now he's going to go under the table when we're close to the table. Now we're close to the table and he's trying to go under it. Okay. But we're interested in how to edit this avatar and how to edit its, its speed. We have a special small button in viewpoint panel. Small one, this one. Edit current viewpoint. Let's press it. And in the, in the top of this menu there are position and I will look at position and we can change it. OK. And motion. We can change the linear speed and angular speed. For example, let's change to 10 and to 90. And now I'm trying to this one. And now he's going faster. Yeah. I can turn around faster. And even more, we can change this guy, we can change his appearance, his appearance of avatar. Let's press this button again, and then go to collision settings. And here, we can change its radius, its height of this, of this avatar, and the eye of offset, and distance to this avatar, because now there are 3 meters. Ok, let's change the 1 meter, or even if yeah, 1 is ok. And let's make it taller, um, and it's OK. And yeah, and now it's pretty bigger, and I'm pretty close because I've changed the distance to him. And when I'm using the mouse wheel, I'm changing the eye position. OK. And also, we can change the type of this avatar. Let's back to this point. Settings and avatar. Now it's construction worker, but we can change it to office mail, for example, and press OK. And now we're moving, we're moving with him, and we can make a new viewpoint. Save viewpoint, save it. The second one. And now let's back to the first viewpoint. Here's the worker, here's the office man, and the avatar view, the, its appearance, is only one of the settings of viewpoint, and you should understand it. And you can even choose for your company who is this guy and who is this guy to make your viewpoints more understandable for each other. 